Travis here. So it's Memorial Day. If you haven't yet, think a veteran. It only takes a couple seconds, and they've gone through more than you could probably ever imagine. I, I can. I, I've been told stories of stuff that happened to my friends, and it's just wow, you know. Now I got some friends that downplay it, but they're the types that are like, you know, they're better off in a war than a ballet. Like they're the kind of people you want over there. But it takes a couple seconds. Just simply thank you for your service. Maybe buy them breakfast, lunch, or dinner, or something. Just. We, we take for granted, you know, how lucky lucky we are to be Americans. We could be living in China right now or some communist nation where we're treated, like, just disgustingly. So, yeah, please don't forget to thank a veteran today. On another note, Robin Hood sent me uh, a warning today. A fish site is a site, I call them web stings. A fish site is like a, a, a link, and it looks like it's for your Facebook or your, your Google or your... Uh, what do you call it? Robin Hood. And whenever you enter your credentials, it'll look like you're just logging into that. When, whenever you enter your credentials, it steals your password. Uh, in this case, with Robin Hood, it would probably steal your money and your identity. So you got to be careful. These scammers are just relentless. If you go on YouTube right now and type in hacking software, there's all kinds of hacking software that comes up, right? And it's, it's, it's not for no reason. It's, it's advertising. They want people to buy these softwares. People want to buy these softwares because they want to go on and steal people's passwords, steal people's finances, identities, uh, data to sell to you know, marketers and advertisers. I got hacked by a fish site, and I knew it, it was a fish site, but I was so drunk that I was just, I didn't know because I was so drunk. That, that's, we'll, we'll start with that. It was New Year's Eve, and I opened up my phone, and I'm like, that looks like me. Is that me? And there's this guy just, oh, yeah, baby, smashing this girl halfway hanging out of a car. And I'm like, dude, that's that's definitely me. I better log on. So I type in my credentials, and then, boom, nothing. I'm like, I think I just got hacked. My wife's like, what? I'm like, I don't know. So I go to bed, completely forget. Next morning, I'm, I'm my phone's just like ding, 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 ding. They sent messages to so many different people. Now, I did the right thing, and I told them all, I'm like, listen, I think I got hacked, I got hacked, I got hacked. And I'm glad I did that because, you know, it's my fault, so I got to own up to it. I got to try to make it right, first off. A lot of people don't. Second off, there's, like, some of my older friends on Facebook. They're like, we thought that you were doing something you shouldn't have been last night with it being, you know, New Year's Eve and everything. We almost clicked on it. So I'm definitely glad, you know, I helped those people, did, did the right thing since it was my mistake. But anyways, as far as getting your your Facebook hacked like that, I don't think that they're trying to like steal your identity or well they are, but I don't think they're trying to steal your money. I think they're trying to steal your password. Now these softwares that I just talked about on YouTube, they most of them have a password list that are crazy. They buy these passwords from people like that that hack you, and when you use the software, it basically like it goes through all these passwords and mix matches them, and sees if any of them could work to break in know to different accounts so i'm guessing that's probably what it was but i have a hater list a block long like these digital marketing companies and stuff like i'm in in business and i like to try to help people not get ripped off most digital marketing companies are just they over pitch and under deliver every time which is a scam or else they straight up lie or else like these people to push websites a website a web a website shouldn't cost more than 350 500 bucks if it doesn't have good seo right because if it doesn't have good seo what the hell good is it for like what you know it's not good for anything so when you're paying 350 bucks a month for a website you want it to rank top three if it's not what what are you paying for you're paying for a 500 hundred dollar website so i call people out all the time that can't do what they say they can do and this and that and because they are pretty good on computers i often get hacked so I gotta really watch my stuff. I, 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 I can't put nothing personal on there. I gotta watch what I, where I put my customers' information because it's my responsibility to keep them safe, you know? Uh, VPNs help and stuff. I'm, I'm getting a new one because I just got hacked again. Obviously not that good. I, I don't know how they got on, but, but again, you got Facebook and everything on your phone. If you go, uh, th- there's a thing on YouTube, you can go to command prompt on your computer, open any browser, go to command prompt, type this code in that they give you, and all these, list of names will come up right you don't even have to be on a website just open your browser you take that put it into your browser search and it'll come up who they are right it's disgusting 
people are constantly trying to steal your data to sell to marketers, advertisers, whatever. Um, and, and it's impossible pretty much to hide. It's almost impossible to hide from them whenever, you know, like Donald Trump said about TikTok and how it's a Chinese software and you should be scared from anything that where Chinese can watch you. Like China, the Chinese government is disgusting. They're, they're all for world, world domination. There's so much stuff going on with them. If you Go to YouTube and type in China Uncensored and, and just follow it day by day. There's news... There's newsworthy news about China every day. Like, they're constantly going to war with India or trying to kill people or, like, they're disgusting. So, and, and they'll go long term. Like, for world domination, China has plans that won't be able to carry, be carried out unless they go accordingly for, like, generations. So, and, and this is, like, common knowledge. They, they steal our government secrets every day. Now, TikTok came from China. Donald Trump's like, listen, you know, my advisors are telling me that they can follow, just like every other app follows you around everywhere, follow the American people, see how many of us there are, see what we do, our activity, our spending, like our habits. That's that's very helpful, it is, for, for an enemy to have. So, and you can always say, oh, well, they could just buy, they could, but this is their personal, like, like I always tell people, you, you, you want your own group on Facebook for advertising because then you control the content. You can always use other people's groups, but it's best to have your own group and start building them now. Now, China, they, they want their own app where they can mine data from the American people. And it's scary how popular TikTok is now. Now, I don't know if safeties have been put in place to make sure that they can't, you know, that, that they can only do so much. But I'm going to guess no, because just this morning, Joyce, my Joyce app, asked me if it could follow me onto my Robinhood app. What possible reason would there be for them to follow me onto my Robinhood app? But I'm just basically trying to put a picture in your head. And I know nobody wants to hear anything that comes out of Donald Trump's mouth because he's like the devil himself reincarnated. That's, that's pretty much how TikTok became so popular. It was, it, well, it was becoming popular, and then Donald Trump didn't like it and said we should get rid of it because obvious reasons that are all coming back around now. Like I was just watching the other day on the news how they're worried again now what China could be getting out of us from TikTok. But because of our cult-like politics... So you, you, go, you gotta watch, you gotta use your head. You gotta put everything else aside and use your head. And the rest is history.